The pleasures of life are like a bunch of different plants in a garden. Some of the plants get along really well, actually encourage each other. Other plants will kill the plants around them, which means that you have to make sure you don't plant those killer plants. It's like putting a eucalyptus trees in your garden and everything else dies. The same with some of the pleasures of life. There's some pleasures that as you pursue them, other pleasures become impossible. So you have to make a choice. Which ones are you going to sacrifice? Which ones are you going to hold on to? It's very important when you take stock of your life. What are the things you will not be willing to sacrifice? Look at that not only in the ideal sense of the things that you tell you, yes, these are the things I hold dear, but look at your actual behavior and see where are areas where I come up against something that I should be willing to sacrifice and I'm not willing to do it. I read a book a while back where the author was saying that Growing up means learning to settle for less than best and willing to compromise your ideas for happiness. And in that sense, the Buddha never really grew up, and he encourages us not to grow up. In a sense, he aimed at the highest happiness possible, and he found it. He says, we can do that too. So if that's the happiness you want, you have to look at the other things that you're willing to sacrifice. Tell yourself, this is the one thing I will not sacrifice, is this possibility of the highest happiness. And then look at your actual behavior. To see what are you doing that's actually getting in the way, and ask yourself why you're not willing to sacrifice that. When you do this, you can be said to be wise. As I said, that's one of the signs of an enlightened person who sees that if a greater happiness comes from being willing to sacrifice a lesser one, you are willing to sacrifice the lesser one for the sake of the greater. It sounds very basic, very simple. But it's not necessarily easy to follow, because we'd like to go for the immediate fix, the quick pleasures we find all around us. But if you're really wise, you say that you have to sacrifice some of those things for something that's more lasting, more solid, that there is such a thing as a solid happiness, and it can be found. To some extent, you have to take that on faith. Because it's nothing that anybody else can show you. When they found that happiness, they can't bring it out and say, see, see how fine this is. But you look at the other pleasures in the world and you see, they just get taken away, taken away, taken away. Here's the prospect of something that doesn't get taken away. So always hold that in mind, that that possibility is there. Make that the one plant in your garden that you want to make sure survives. As for the others, anything that can help that plant along, you're happy to have them there. Anything that gets in the way, anything that would threaten to kill it, okay, those are the things you've got to pull out. When you do that, it's a life worth living, and when life comes to an end, it's a life worth looking back on, realizing that you made the right choices.